Tonight we are hearing from the attorneys who represent a Texas State University student brutally attacked outside the school's Phi Kappa Phi fraternity house. And Bryce Newberry joins me now with an update, Bryce, on how that student is doing. Yeah, Chris, this is Nicholas Panagiotopoulos before he was punched to the point of unconsciousness outside the Texas State fraternity. Today, nearly two months later, his attorneys tell me he's still in a wheelchair recovering from that attack. Next thing you know, punches started getting thrown. This is the video that changed Nicholas Panagiotopoulos' life. Nick tries to run away. This mob of these fraternity guys chase after him, continue to wail away on him. The Texas State University senior studying business is now in a wheelchair after suffering skull and spine injuries. The attack happened back in October outside the Pie Cap frat house as he and his friend walked down the street. Jay Harvey represents Panagiotopoulos. It's not just this campus, it's many campuses where we're seeing a lack of institutional control by these fraternities and allowing this to go on. Something has to change. Panagiotopoulos is now suing three of the people who attacked him, as well as the Texas State Pi Kappa Phi chapter and the National Organization for Negligence and Aggravated Assault. According to his attorneys, two of the attackers were charged with felony aggravated assault. And looking at the video, they definitely seem proud of the fight and proud of what they did to these, uh, you know, to Nick. Sean McConnell also represents Panagiotopoulos. What's lost in all this is that Nick lives right next door to the frat house, so he's constantly reminded of it. The lawsuit claims the fraternity had a history of encouraging overconsumption of alcohol, as well as rivalries with members of other fraternities. Texas State University did not respond to our request for comment, and the national chapter of Pi Kappa Phi declined to comment, citing the pending litigation. Panagiotopoulos attorneys just want to make sure this kind of violence doesn't happen again. Condoning this kind of activity and not actively stopping this activity is going to lead to nothing but more trouble just like this. Those attorneys told me today that Nick was not able to complete all of his coursework this semester because of the attack, but still hopes to graduate in May. He did not want to go on camera, and now his attorneys are asking for a jury to hear the case in Travis County District Court. Bryce Newberry, KVU News.